Now the heavy rains in our forecast creating some potential for hazards on the beaches. KSBY News reporter Asia Gore joins us live from Avila Beach with more on what to look out for and how to stay safe. Asia. Well, Dustin and Kelsey, water quality and surf hazards are just two things to keep in mind if you're planning a visit out to the beach. But officials say if you can reschedule your trip, do. It's a very dynamic environment and things can change in a millisecond. Coast Guard officers like Jake Gore are bracing for a major storm moving in on the central coast. We have a very large westerly swell coming in. We're really looking at bigger conditions along the shore as well as the harbor entrance. The National Weather Service issuing a high surf advisory through Sunday, reporting potential for breaking waves up to 11 feet high. It makes me want to surf, yeah. yeah. Despite the increased bacteria in the water following storm rains, Greg Lampert lives to ride the big waves. But the Coast Guard is warning even skilled surfers like Lampert to exercise caution in the coming days. It's just as dangerous for the experienced people as it is for the inexperienced people. That goes for surfers and boaters. Just as we got to the end of the harbor, coming up on the breakwater at the green buoy, uh, we lost our transmission. Friday night, as the first batch of rain fell on the central coast, John Panisi and his newly renovated commercial fishing boat crashed into rocks. And that almost ended my career. But within minutes, the Harbor Patrol and Coast Guard responded, sparing Panisi and his vessel just in time. With the storm coming, if this boat would have been stuck on those rocks, it would not have been salvageable. As big waves crash into the coastline, erosion adds another risk. Cliff sides can collapse, like this rock slide captured by KSBY photographer Kenny Nichols Saturday in Shell Beach. People walking along the cliff sides, getting a little bit too close. That edge has been weakened by the rain or the, you know, the bigger swells, and it is a danger. And you can hear those waves crashing behind us. They're only going to get bigger as the days go on. Health officials say you should stay out of the ocean for 72 hours after a storm to avoid contact with unhealthy waters. Live in Avila Beach, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. All right, Asia, thank you very much. Stay safe out there.